New Zealand Building Code provides a set of minimum mandatory requirements. In this video, we will show you a range of ideas worth considering to design beyond these minimum requirements. These improvements will help make your home naturally warmer, drier and cheaper to heat. It all starts with a section. Consider the winter and summer path of the sun when planning the orientation of your house. To make the most of the sun for warmth and natural light, the main living areas and bedrooms should face north. So it's not a good idea to put things like garages, laundries or bathrooms on the north side. If possible, put living areas and bedrooms on the north side and let this natural warmth circulate through the house. Windows are a key source of heat for the house, but also a key source of heat loss. So their size and orientation is important. Maximize heat gain by having your larger windows on the north side. Avoid having large windows on the south side to minimize heat loss. Careful design of eave widths can help manage sunshine throughout the year by providing shading in summer and maximizing heat gain in winter. Dense materials such as concrete, bricks and tiles store heat from sunlight. Use this thermal mass in north-facing rooms to store heat which will then be released through the night. Thermal mass can help even out temperatures through the day and night. Now we'll look at insulation. Insulation performance is measured in R value, which is the rate that heat passes through a given material. The higher the R value, the higher the resistance to heat loss. The building code only provides mandatory minimum R values for insulation. These are set well below optimal performance. For extra comfort and warmth, consider going beyond the code. Let's start with the ceiling. The best performing ceiling insulation is achieved by having two layers. The first sits in between the joists, and the second lies over the top like a blanket. For your walls, there's a few options. The easiest is to use higher rated insulation than what is required by the building code. Or you could use wider wall framing, which means you can fit more insulation into the wall cavity. A final option is to have two layers of wall framing, which means you can double up your wall insulation. Insulating under your concrete slab can make a big difference. Polystyrene under the slab will mean your house is separated from the cold earth beneath it, meaning warmth is retained inside the house. Insulating the edge of your concrete slab will also make a significant difference. Windows are a weak point in the thermal envelope of a house. Consider the following four things when selecting windows. Spaces keep the glass panes apart to provide an insulating airspace. They come in a range of materials with different thermal properties. The size they create between the panes also affects the window's performance. For some materials, the inside of the frame can lose its heat and become cold. This makes the inside glass pane cold, making condensation more likely. Getting thermally broken frames will solve this problem. Some windows also have a low E-coating on the glass that further reduces heat transfer. Some windows come with gas in between the glass panes instead of air. Gas is denser than air, so it improves the insulation value of the window system. There are many different window systems available, so do some research to find the one that's right for you. Ventilation is essential for good indoor air quality. Even some newly built homes have problems with internal moisture, condensation and mold. An effective ventilation system will help maintain good indoor air quality, dry out the house and help it warm up. Finally, get a good extraction fan in the bathroom and kitchen. Put it close to the moisture source and make sure it's big enough to do the job. There are many options available, so do some research to find the one that's right for you. Going beyond the minimum requirements of the building code means you can build an even more comfortable home that is pleasant to live in and cheaper to run.